Fox News alert. A hearing is about to start in the Senate on cybersecurity and the NSA. And it may include some tough questions about the NSA collecting data on your phone calls. As that unfolds, we are hearing from a company called Secrypt. They have an app, they say, that can encrypt your phone calls and texts so that folks cannot spy on you, including the NSA. Joining me now, the chairman of Secrypt, Harvey Bolter. Good to see you, Harvey. Thank you so much for being here. So you have actually done this. Your sister company uh, has done this for soldiers in Afghanistan trying to avoid Taliban tapping into their communications. And now you want to do it for regular Americans and folks who don't want to be spied on. How does it work? Can I just pick up my iPhone and download it now? That's exactly right. You can go to the iTunes store or the Google Play store. You download it at the app for free. And then it's immediately working. And if you call somebody else with the app as well, you have a completely secure conversation. For free? How are you going to make your for money? Free. It will be free initially for a trial. And so we offer it three months for free. And then every time you invite a friend, you get another month for free, up to a year. And then it's $3 a month. Okay, so it only works if both parties to the communication are using Secrypt. That's great, because I'm encrypting it and you're decrypting the conversation. Now, how, how does it work? Well, it's using uh, two ciphers that uh, basically mathematically scramble the call. Uh, and it, those ciphers are extremely strong, uh, and that's how we are encrypting. So the, when the, the phone data. bill comes, what would it show? It wouldn't show you my phone, phone number? Or, uh, well, you don't get a phone bill. I never get a phone bill? No, I never get my Verizon phone bill again? Th this, is, this is all about metadata. So they, the reason they keep the duration of your calls and who you called is because they want to send you a bill. We don't care. We don't keep that. So all, any call you make, the minute that you end that call, the keys are shredded and the call's gone. It's history. So what about, though, if I, let's say I, I mean, I'm, obviously I still have to pay Verizon because not every call is going to be encrypted. I'm going to call people who don't have Secrypt. So they're going to send me a bill and they're going to show phone calls. Well, what will it say if I have used it, it, the Secrypt technology to call certain people? It's just like you, you uh, Googling or, or using the Internet to do a Google search. You're just connecting to a server with us and so we're in your data plan mm -hmm. so with your Verizon plan you probably get a data package and we use a little bit of that data if you're on the cellular service and of course if you're on a Wi-Fi service and it's for free now but, so you, but but some of the criticism is that you know I don't really have anything really to hide I don't want anybody spying on my phone conversations or my emails but I don't really have anything to hide but terrorists do so what's to stop them from doing this, well, using this? Firstly, I think you do have things that are private to you, like your healthcare information, your banking inf information. You know, but you know, of course, there are many people who may download this app and use it uh, for all sorts of purposes. Now, seriously bad guys, terrorists, don't use cell phones. Yeah, that's the first thing to note. Well, the NSA certainly seems to think they do. Well, you know, the NSA is, is, is trawling a vast amount of data, you know, looking for all sorts of information that helps them lead them to perhaps, you know, the, the bad guys. Mm -hmm. But we will actually work with law enforcement, you know, in the event that somebody, we're informed that somebody is misusing our app. So, but how would they know that? Because what they say is General Hayden, the former director of the, of the CIA and NSA, came out this weekend and said, look, this is how it works. We nab some dude in Afghanistan. We, we pick up a number that we've never seen before, you know, that we know he's a terrorist. We believe he's a terrorist. Then we run that number through our database here in the U.S. to see, has anybody been talking to this number? And only then, if they see that you've been talking to this number, do they take the next step of trying to get more data on your phone. Your app will shield those numbers from coming up, right? That's correct. It will completely So that's those bad numbers. for those who want to fight terror. But it will enable, you can still, from the Verizon network, for example, see that you've connected to the secret service. And so they have a data point. They have a metadata point that you've used secret. It's just they don't know who you've called. But they can't come after you for that because that's, that's like when you are approaching the DWI checkpoint and you do a UE before you get there. It's, it's not legal for the police to pull you over just because you, you refuse to subject yourself to that surveillance, yeah. to that police interaction. It would not be legal, I think, for the police to or the law enforcement community to suspect you of anything illicit just because you use this technology. Yeah. No, absolute, absolutely not. And Secret Service, the chief technology officer who once worked with the U.S. Secret Service and some other uh, British officials who have all helped you with this? Yes, yes. There are some serious people who understand that mobile is not secure. Do I have to put it in one of these fancy things? No, you, no, you don't. Uh, what I've showed you here, and, and this is an iPhone 4, and it's in the latest Thoraya uh, satellite sleeve. Mm -hmm. And essentially, this uh, enables a humanitarian worker in the middle of Africa, for example, to connect home. You know, and have a uh, 
secure core, free, over a satellite. Got it. And so, so this is a data sleeve for a satellite. So that takes it to another level. But, this, but I can do it just on my regular iPhone. You can do it on your regular iPhone, and suddenly you have full security of your conversations. Harvey, thank you. Interesting. Pleasure.